Shabbat shalom. Welcome to everyone who braved the weather and made it all the way here in person, and welcome to those watching from the safety and warmth of your homes. Tonight we are celebrating Shabbat and commemorating another Jewish holiday called uh, Tisha B'Av, so we'll have some special readings and a special song um, in honor of this uh, day of observance. We begin our service together on page one. Please join me in reading in English, I am Israel. All the generations before exist within me. All are present at this moment. Dwellers in tents and tenements, weavers, tailors, bankers, physicians, beggars dozing in a sunny corner, fruit sellers freezing in the market square, mothers and fathers in a tangled chain, all those who studied the Torah, all those who settled the land, all those who were crammed into steerage, who broke the glass and circumcised their sons, 600,000 who stood at Sinai, 6 million souls who perished, Abraham, my father, Sarah, my mother, Joseph, my brother, Miriam, my sister, Moses, my teacher. Their voices speak in me. I am Israel. Then we continue on our supplementary sheet. If you didn't um, get one of these earlier, you can find copies on the table near the entrance. This is the first verse of Psalm 137 in Hebrew, and I'll try to break it down bit by bit, and you can sing with me as you're comfortable. First part goes, Al Naharot Bavel. Try that. Al Naharot Bavel. Al Naharot Bavel. Al Naharot Bavel. Sham Yashav Nugam Bachinu. Sham Yashav Nugam Bachinu. Bezochrenu et Zion. Bezochrenu et Zion. All right, let's see if we can do it all together with no breaks. Al Naharot Bavel. Al Naharot Bavel. Sham Yashav Nugam Bachinu. Bezochrenu et Zion. One more time. Al Naharot Bavel. Al Naharot Bavel. Sham Yashav Nugam Bachinu. Bezochrenu et Zion. And I'd like to invite up Maggie to lead us in Psalm 137 in English. By the rivers of Babylon we sat and wept when we remembered Zion. There on the poplars we hung our harps, for there our conquerors asked us for songs. Our tormentors demanded songs of joy. They said, sing us one of the songs of Zion. How can we sing the songs of the Lord while in a foreign land? If I forget you, Jerusalem, may my right hand forget its skill. May my tongue cling to the roof of my mouth. If I do not remember you, if I do not remember Jerusalem, my highest joy. Thank you. I'd like to invite a Pat to lead us in 
Exile, the reading on page two. How difficult for me is Hebrew. Even the Hebrew for mother, for bread, for son is foreign. How far have I been as dry as Ryan? I have learned the Hebrew blessing before eating bread. Is there no blessing before reading Hebrew? My thoughts have become like the ancient Hebrew in two tenses only. I'd like to invite up Lori to read the reflection before our Shabbat candle lighting on our supplementary sheet reading too. And at this point in our service, we think of the week that has passed, and we hold on to all of the good things from this week. So if you have an experience that inspired gratitude, if you have some good news to share, no matter how big or how small, I invite you to share that joy with the community now. Yeah, Zina? Welcome. We're so glad you're here. Laura? Repaired your phone. Awesome. It's always good to have a working phone. Alyssa? Mazel Tov on the new car. Maggie? Not this week, but my best friend and his girlfriend had their baby. Yeah. Mazel Tov. Was it last week? Yeah, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Awesome. Wonderful news. So we thank God for all of these blessings, including the blessing of simply being alive for this moment in time with the words of Shehechianu on page five. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechianu Vekimanu Vehigianu Lazman Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechianu Vekimanu Vehigianu Azman on page six, reading responsively. Shabbat. For our ancestors, the seventh day was a sign of their covenant with God. They kept it faithfully. When their lives were embittered, Shabbat brought them sweetness. When their lives were peaceful, Shabbat deepened their joy. We speak many words, but few that remind us of the covenant. We 
Let us emerge from this Sabbath renewed in our quest for wholeness, reawakened to the urgent beauty of being present in a God-filled world. And we celebrate the seventh day with Lechadodi on page seven. together to symbolically welcome in the presence of Shabbat. Long ago, King David said to the community of Israel, Now bless the Eternal, your God. And the whole congregation blessed the Eternal, God of their mothers and fathers, and bowed their heads low. Now, in the presence of community, in pursuit of the sacred, in gratitude and awe, we too bow before the infinite. Continue with our official call to prayer, the Baruch Yeah, la 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 i 
As new generations come and go, the world remains largely the same. The sun rises and sets each day, winds blow according to their set patterns, seas flow as if following a diagram drawn carefully by God's own steady hand. Every night, constellations assume their positions in the sky, faithfully reminding us that what has been will be again for each generation to enjoy. Baruch Ata Adonai. Hama Ariv Aravim. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, who brings on the evening twilight. We remain standing for the Shema at the bottom of page 9. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai seated. Page 10. Be'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha v'echol avavcha v'echol nafshecha v'echol meyaldecha v'hayu ha'davarim ha'ele Asher anochi mitzavecha hayom alavavecha v'shinata ham levanecha v'dibar tapam v'shivtecha b'vetecha uvlechtecha v'aderech uvshach becha uvkumecha uksharam lehot hayadecha. Behayulitotapote <laughs> Asher hot state yad ham, me yaret me traim, le yot lachem, le lohim, ani adonai lohechem. We continue on page 11 with the responsive reading. Precious is the light by which we gaze upon the past, and blessed are the journeys of those who came before us. Blessed is the wisdom of sages and prophets who taught our ancestors the life of holiness. Let justice well up like water, righteousness like an unfailing stream. Out of violence and brokenness came prayers of healing, a religion of renewal, joy, and compassion. Inspired by their journeys of determination and love, may we find our own ways of marching to the promised land. And before we sing Mi Mocha, a blessing celebrating when our ancestors made it to the uh, 
uh, started their journey to the promised land. I'd like to invite up Eddie, who's about to move there um, in just a few days. Unless we kidnap him, still an option. Yishabach avoteinu, may the one who blessed our ancestors bless and watch over you, Edi, as you are about to make Aliyah or move to the land of Israel. May our blessings and God's blessings be with you as you journey to and through the land of our ancestors. May you find supportive companions, meaning in your adventures, and success in all the worthy endeavors that you undertake. May you make your own unique contribution to the land and the life of the Jewish people in Israel and throughout the world, and let us say, Amen. So I want to hear you singing extra loudly for this one, Eddie Micha Mocha, on page 12. Shamru on the bottom of page twelve. Shamru Vene Israel et ha Shabbat Lasot et ha Shabbat le Dorotam Bevitolam. Shamru Vene Israel et ha Shabbat. So it shabbat the door of Tamberi to lam. Ben Yuvin, Ben Yisrael, O di leolam, O di leolam. Be shamru, Ben Yisrael, et ha shabbat laso. Continue with the responsive reading on the top of page 13. Our God and God of the generations before us, we long to feel close and connected to you. You are the lasting memory of sages and students, of prophets and priests. We know you today as the voice of kindness within us. We know you also as the constant hope that lives in our hearts. You are the sacred presence that connects everything. You are the one who creates and protects all life. Please rise for our central prayer, the Amidah, the bottom of page 13. (laughs) 
Continue with a quiet moment for personal prayer or reflection. service we think of loved ones who are in need of healing 
Tonight we think especially of Maria's brother John, Marty Cohen, Alyssa Freeman, Beth Levine, Rabbi Jerry Levy, and Jean Sanders. Are there other loved ones whose healing we wish to pray for tonight? With the power of community, we pray for their refuah shlema, the complete healing of body and or spirit, with the words of Mishiberach found at the top of page 18. Tonight begins Tisha B'Av, or the ninth day of the Hebrew month of Av. After the Romans destroyed the ancient temple in Jerusalem in the year 70 of the Common Era, this day, the ninth of Av, was designated as an official day of mourning. First, it was only to mourn the destruction of the temple and the city of Jerusalem. But as time went on, it also became the day to mourn additional tragedies in Jewish history, ranging from massacres of Jews during the Crusades to the expulsion of Jews from various countries. And before the creation of a separate Holocaust Remembrance Day called Yom HaShoah, many also considered Tisha B'Av an appropriate day to remember and reflect upon the Holocaust. Tisha B'Av has been a difficult day to approach as Reformed Jews. On one level, Tisha B'Av is about mourning the loss of something that we are happy to have moved past. As Reformed Jews, we do not long to go back to the ancient temple in Jerusalem where worship took the form of animal sacrifices. Like the 12th century rabbi, Moses Maimonides, we believe that prayer is a far preferable form of worship. But even if we have no desire to return to the past, we have an obligation to remember it. As Reformed Jews, we also have an obligation to learn about Jewish traditions like Tisha B'Av, rather than simply dismissing it without any thought. Unfortunately, in the past week, we have seen what happens when someone dismisses a historical tragedy without much thought. Recently, a teacher from one of the Hanover County Public Schools created a logo for an educator's professional development conference, which resembles a swastika. Now, there was a point in time when a swastika did not have the troubling meaning it has today. This symbol likely began as a representation of the sun moving through the sky. Many cultures, especially in Asia, saw it as a symbol for good fortune or well-being. In fact, the Sanskrit name for the symbol literally means well-being. However, in the 19th and 20th centuries, Europeans attributed a new meaning to the symbol. They linked it to the Aryan culture, which spanned Europe and Asia. After finding similar shapes on pottery, a German archaeologist named Heinrich Schliemann suggested that this hooked cross was a significant symbol of their ancestors, and soon it came to be seen as a symbol of racial purity. The Nazis utilized this symbol of racial purity on their flags, election posters, armbands, medallions, and badges for organizations. Intended to elicit pride among Aryans, the swastika also struck terror into Jews and others deemed enemies of Nazi Germany. After the Nazis united under that symbol, murdered two-thirds of all Jews in Europe, or one-third of all Jews in the world, we can no longer view the swastika in the same way. Following Nazi Germany's defeat in 1945, the Allied governments ruling the nation outlawed Nazi organizations, propaganda, and symbols. Subsequent German governments continued the ban on the swastika, now forever seen 
as a symbol of Nazism and the atrocities committed by the Nazi party. Today, in Germany and other European countries, public displays of Nazi symbols like the swastika are prohibited by law. If someone even shares a picture of a swastika online, they are subject to criminal proceedings in Europe. Meanwhile, in America, the superintendent of Hanover County Schools, which many of Ormi's religious school students attend, claimed that the teacher who made the logo resembling a swastika had no ill intention in doing so. This has led many to ask, how is it possible that someone who was trained to be an educator could not know about World War II and the countless atrocities committed under the Nazi flag? Not knowing the educator who designed the logo or the committee that approved its use on official conference materials, we have no way of knowing if this was an embarrassing oversight or if someone trusted to educate our youth to influence young, impressionable minds purposely integrated Nazi symbols into educational conference materials. Either way, we can still wonder how it is possible for an adult whose job it is to create a safe learning environment for all students, including Jewish students, to also design an official logo for school events which shares the same haunting figures painted by Nazis. Let us not make the same mistake by being ignorant or dismissive of history, especially of historical tragedies that impact generations. We have an obligation to remember the past so that we can use that knowledge to help create a better present and future. May we fulfill the sacred responsibility and help to bring healing to this world. And let us say, Amen. So I'd like to invite up Sarah to share some brief announcements on behalf of the board. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Nice to see you guys and anybody who's watching online. Um, we have a couple of events coming up. Tomorrow is Torah study at 11 a.m. This is in person and virtual. Um, we've also got the Orami Crafters at 7 p.m. on Tuesday, August 9th, which is over Zoom. Um, Torah study again next week. And let's see, there's a real theology coming up on Friday, August 21st. The real theology is a movie night. It's at 6 p.m. and it's Madame Rosa. I do not know anything about this movie, but I know there are people out there who do. So you should talk to them and then come to it. Um, and I think that is all we've got going on at the moment. And soon enough, we'll be talking about the high holidays because they'll be here before you know it. But for now, that's everything. So Shabbat Shalom. Thank you, Sarah. We continue on page 20 with Elenu. Please rise for the Elenu prayer. Elenu l'shabeach l'adon hakol L'atet k'nulah l'yotzeb reshit Shelo asanu k'goye haratzot Velo samanu k'mishpachot adama Shelo sam chelkenu kahem Begor alenu kechol hamonam Vaanachnu korim Umishtachavim umodim Lifne melech Malchei hamlachim HaKadosh Baruch Hu Ve'haya Adonai Lemelech al kol haaretz Ve'yom ha'hu Ve'yom ha'hu Ve'haya Adonai Echad Ushimo Ushimo At this point in our service, we think of loved ones who have passed away recently or at this time in years past. Tonight we remember with love the yard sites of Augusta Citron, aunt of Alex Simon, Elaine Cutler, sister of Alan Arcava, Jules Levine, father of David Levine, Nikki Litvin, grandmother of Alyssa Litvin, Allison Nitvin. 
Litvin. Gloria Markowitz, grandmother of Jonathan Prupis. Laser Rivkin, father of Zena Tulchinski. Mike Rosengarden, family of Rochelle Roberts. And Eleanor Taylor, grandmother of Joan Dunlap. Are there other loved ones you wish to remember tonight? Zichronam Libracha, may their memories always be a blessing. We continue standing as a community of support for the Mourner's Kaddish on page 21. Vit Gadal, Vit Kadash, Shime Raba, Bialma, Divra, Hirte, Biamli, Machute, Behaechon, Uvyomechon, Uvhaye, the whole Beit Israel, Baagala, Vizman Kariv, Imru, Amen. Yehe, Shme Raba, Mivarach, the Olam, Olome, Amaya, Vit Barach, Vit Shabach, Vit Paar, Vit Romam, Vit Nase. Viet Hadar, Viet Ale, Viet Halal, Shemade Kudisha, Brihu, Leela, Mikol, Birhata, Beshirata, Tush Behata, Venechamata, the Amiran, Bealma, the Imru, Ame, Ehe, Shlam, Araba, Min Shemaya, the Chaim, Alenu, Bea, Kol Israel, Imru, Ame, O Se Shalom, Birmomav, Hu Ya Se Shalom. Alenu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. May the source of peace and peace to all who mourn, and may we be a source of comfort for all who are bereaved. And let us say, amen. Please be seated. We conclude our service tonight near the middle of page twenty-two with Ali Ali. Shalom. And thank you to Patricia for playing tonight. If you'd kindly return your services to the table near the entrance. Um, there's no Kiddush and Motzi tonight due to the thunderstorm. Uh, we'll just eat challah in our hearts, I suppose. So, and stay and socialize if you'd like. <laughs> 